welcome everyone i hope everyone is preparing very well for the entrance examination i have uh, covered almost all the things in assam university we had entrance exam syllabus from teaching aptitude and uh, that one recent issues in education and i have put those nine videos that i prepared on the syllabus on a separate list and uh, i think that will be very much useful for you because things have been uh, discussed in the videos in the same way that the, uh, it comes in the entrance test today i will discuss uh, the last year's question paper with you because one thing is sure if you can read the previous year question papers even after covering the syllabus then an idea is formed about how how the questions can be so today i have taken the 2017 question paper for bar entrance examination so let's discuss the today's video uh, questions the first question is arrange the following teaching processes in order relating the previous knowledge with the new knowledge evaluation using teaching aids formulating objectives presentation of materials when you enter inside the class in which order you you will proceed inside the class what is the first thing that you will do inside the class so firstly you will formulate the objectives the objectives that are going to be achieved in the class after completing the class you will formulate those then then you will relate the previous knowledge the knowledge that the children already have you will relate it to the new concept then you start presenting the materials new materials then you will use teaching aids to present the materials in a more attractive way and last you will evaluate so the arrangement uh, of the teaching process will be first formulating objective then relating the previous knowledge with the new knowledge so 4 1 then 5 3 2 let us see so here is given 1 4 5 3 2 so we will take this one 14532 then if backbenchers are always talking in the classroom the teacher should what you what you will do if the backbenchers talk inside the classroom ask them to sit in the front provide task punish them advise to go out you will never punish them you will, you will not advise to them to go out so rather you will ask them to sit in the front so that they talk less next question an effective teaching means a teacher puts emphasis on group teaching a teacher should test previous knowledge a teacher is interested in completing the course teaching with enthusiasm so completing the course and making the students in uh, classify the students into groups and then teaching or only testing the previous knowledge is not an effective teaching effective teaching is teaching with enthusiasm then a teacher's voice should be loud sometimes loud and sometimes low low moderate so a teacher's voice should it should not be like always loud it should not be like always low or moderate it should be sometimes loud sometimes low then the teacher's primary responsibility lies keeping students records using teaching aids organizing classroom environment all of the above so teachers primary responsibility is organizing the classroom environment keeping student records and using teaching aids are not the primary objectives or primary responsibility then a teacher could develop rapport with pupils rapport means connection rapport means Uh, a, a good relationship through what guiding availability both inside and outside the classroom friendly classroom environment teaching so rapport building with students is done 
by a friendly classroom environment you can't always guide them you can't always you can't only teach them always so a friendly classroom environment will establish a repo with the pupils next question an effective teacher is expected to reduce the anxiety level of students to moderate level make students feel that education is their need encourage the students to make initiative all of the above so all the a b and c options are the tasks of a teacher so the answer will be all of the above then a teacher in the class is the president of the group a director of the group a mentor of the group all of the above so answer is and the correct answer is a mentor of the group he is not a inside the class a teacher is not a director who always directs he is not a president he is not all in all he just guides the students so his duty should be only to guide only to facilitate learning so he is a mentor in the group then which process of communication is best for controlling noise in a classroom saying don't talk raising your voice above students voice remain calm and just look at the students continue teaching without caring for noisy class so you can always say don't talk don't talk and also if you raise your voice uh, above the students voice this is also not a solution continue teaching without caring for noisy class this is also not a solution you should remain calm and have a stare at the students have a look at the students this is the correct option so that students suddenly see uh, you wa watching them so they will stop the talking number 10 good teaching is a function of sincerity and devotion to the profession of teaching sincerity and devotion to the authorities of the school high academic qualifications head teachers powerful leadership so good teaching does not cover sincerity and de devotion towards the authority of the school this is not uh, this is there is no connection to show sincerity towards authority of the school with good teaching high academic qualification also not uh, a direct function of good teaching head teachers powerful leadership is also not the correct option the correct option is sincerity and devotion to the profession of teaching so today we have discussed 10 questions i will discuss the remaining questions in the next video thank you everyone